as you can see we've got a little bit of rain but that's not going to be too bad because we're in the middle of the day and the cloud cover is going to reduce the light and even the light out for our landscape. So I'm going to take a drive up to a place called Noble Falls out towards 2J to see if we can capture an image. To Noble Falls and I've had a quick bit of a, an explore around the area. Um, there's a couple of locations that look pretty promising uh, but unfortunately a couple of showers uh, have come through and I needed to um, escape and come back to the car uh, for some shelter. Um, but look the, the rain's breaking up, um, there's plenty of, of clear uh, patches in the sky, in fact I think the, the sun is coming through now so there's going to be plenty of opportunity for me to get out um, and see whether I can get an image. So once the rain passes I'll grab my gear and I'll go back out to one of those spots where I think there was a, a pretty nice composition. You can, uh, you can tell that it's a little bit frustrating. Um, the rain is stop start, stop start. I've actually had a couple of uh, false starts going out there and then it's raining and then I'm having to come back again. Uh, because while the, while the showers are, um, you know, they, they come through fairly quickly, uh, they're actually producing quite heavy heavy rain that is absolutely drenching and uh, I don't want to be out in that and neither do I want my camera to be out in that either. Uh, anyway, we'll just keep trying. I'm sure there'll be a big enough break at some stage for me to get out there and uh, set up. Okay, so I managed to get out here. It's, uh, it hasn't been, the conditions have actually been quite difficult because it's either showering or as you can probably tell behind me, um, I've got, uh, the sun's come out in between the clouds and I've got harsh sunlight across my scene, which is not ideal as well. But I thought I'd take the opportunity of just taking you through uh, the setup on my camera and the composition that I've decided on uh, for this shot. There's my uh, 17 to 35 setup with the uh, polarizer on the front. The polarizer is mounted onto the filter holder. Uh, and allows me to put a circular polarizer on there. 
the advantage with that is I can set up my shot, I can put in my filters, and then I can still adjust my polarizer without having to take off my, my filters. That's the beauty of having the, the polarizer on the outside. So the reason why I've got the polarizer on the front is to cut out any glare from the light bouncing off the wet rocks. As well as the polarizer, I've also got my little stopper there to just bring down the light. Even when the clouds uh, cover the sun, the light is still gonna be a little bit too strong. If I bring you around to the back of the camera so you can see the live view, my shutter speed is one second. I'm on F13 and ISO 100. So let me take you through the composition for this image. I'm right low to the ground and close to the water. I'm, I'm actually sitting on a, uh, a rock down here and my feet are almost in the water. What that gives me is a low point of view across the river and trying to take in a, a series of small waterfalls um, as well as the main uh, noble fall in the background. I've got this waterfall here in the midground, and the line in which that waterfall is creating as well as the the rocks that the water is falling off is giving me a, a very nice leading line from right to left up into the middle of my image. The little stopper allows me to increase my exposure and I can slow the shutter speed right down. So at the moment I'm on one second and on one second that's a, that's a pretty good speed to be able to capture the movement of the falling water but at the same time give me some definition. I still want some definition in that, in that water otherwise it becomes too milky. At the same time I've got some foam in the foreground but I also want to blur um, so one second is hopefully going to do that. But what I'll do is I'll play around with my shutter speed uh, to make sure that I've got the water in the foreground and also in the midground just the way I like it. The clouds just come over. Uh, so while I was on F F13, what I might do is just uh, open up the ap aperture to F10. Uh, and I'm going to have to increase my exposure so that I've got a shutter speed of probably two seconds. That's all right. Um, I'll grab my cable release and we'll take that shot. after that last shot that I that I took um, it absolutely belted down and I had to run for cover and uh, everything is drenched I'm wet my camera luckily is uh, is waterproof but it got fairly fairly wet as well that's okay it's all part of the fun I've set up a little bit further down the river it's a slightly different angle on those same waterfalls that I, uh, I shot previously I'll give you a quick look at how I set my tripod up. It's not ideal. Pretty much where I want to be is halfway to where that tree is and somewhere in that water, uh, but I can't. So I've come a little bit further down the bank. There's my tripod there. And as you may be able to pick up, I've got one leg on uh, a rock down here. I've got another leg that comes out and is resting on that boulder. So my settings are f14 and i'm on 1.6 of a second now you can see my histogram bubbling around at the moment that's because the light is changing as the cloud goes in front of the sun so that's all a bit of fun i just uh, i just change my settings to account for that change in light the composition that i'm going for is pretty much that um, so I've got a, uh, some rocks out here which is providing me a leading line from the left hand corner up to the middle of my image. I've got these 
uh, waterfalls, these, these smaller waterfalls here, that is providing another line across to the main waterfall in the background. So I'll grab the cable shutter and uh, we'll take that shot. going to be my last shot and for this image what I've done is I've crossed the river I've gone on to the other side for my composition it's going to be relatively simple uh, I'm going to have my I'm going to have the falls at around about uh, two-thirds of the way up the image probably with a little bit of rock in the foreground but really what's going to lead the the eye to the falls is going to be the movement of the foam in the water. So I'm going to capture that in a, in a shutter speed that is around about two seconds. So for this shot, I've still got the polarizer and I've still got the, the little stopper. I have to have the little stopper in this, in this harsh light. Uh, I've got the 17 to 35 and I'm on around about 24 mil. And for this particular shot uh, that I'd set up just moments ago, when the cloud was blocking the sun, I was on f10 and two seconds, which was, I thought was pretty ideal because I'm gonna need two seconds to get the, the foam in the foreground, that foam there in the foreground uh, blurred and creating some pattern that will uh, provide the foreground interest. So what I might do is just wait for a little while, wait for some cloud to cover the sun again and then I'll take this shot. Okay so finally the sun went behind the clouds. So my shot is at f10 and two seconds. I'm going to grab the uh, cable shutter and we'll take this shot. That's it for Noble Falls. I've taken a couple of images and I'm pretty happy with them. So I'm going to uh, pack up and take off. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like below. If you enjoy this sort of content and it's the first time to my channel, then why don't you subscribe below so you're notified when I upload my next video. Please share your comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you think somebody else might be interested in this sort of video, then please share it with them. Until next time, thanks very much for watching.